Hey, what's going on, my kaiju fans? This is your boy, Burn Godzilla Fan 1954, and we are back with another figure review. And today, we're going to be doing a double figure review on the kind of sort of new movie monster series, Veron and Baragon. Um, so I'm not going to take the I'm going to take the tags off for this video because I cannot find my scissors at the moment. Um, so, but I wanted to show you guys this. This is going to be a little quick uh, review. And then I have another review because I got something else too, but I'm going to put it in a different video. But, anyway, we'll start off with Braun. Um, he's kind of one of my favorite monsters just because I like the way he looks. But I think his movie came out before Godzilla's. I think his came out in 1946, if I remember. But anyway, uh, I think it was Braun the Unbelievable. I think that's what it was called, but I'm not 100% sure. Well, anyway, uh, we can move him all the way around. Right here, I think we can can move his head. We can move his legs too. We can kind of move those guys a little bit. He's kind of got like those uh, knee kind of way, just like uh, angers a little bit. And then we cannot move his tail. His tail and his head are kind of glued. But I love the brown, and I kind of like the little like kind of gray and white shading that they use on the spikes and everything. Uh, it's a pretty cool figure, and I like it. I don't have that many um uh brawn or brawn figures. I think I maybe have um. The YMSF one, and I have a couple small figure ones, but I don't think I have that many ones. So this is a figure I've been really want, meaning to get for a while now. And then let me show you guys the tag real quick. So yeah, there's the tag we're on, 2022. So I'll show you guys all that right there. So yeah. Okay, so there's Ron, and then we have Baragon, which I do have a couple of Baragon figures, so this guy was just... He kind of reminds me of the Bandai one. It's the kind of like brown, yellowish one that kind of looks like Naranga from Ultraman a little bit. It kind of looks like this one, but they just made it just a little bit better. They've actually made a couple of Baragon figures. I think they made a Playmates one too, but yeah. Um, anyway, we can move his arms, move his legs. This one, you can move his tail all the way around. Here's his tag right here. And then you can see a little bit of the wild and spikes. I think they did a pretty good job on his paint. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so his head is glued. So, yeah. I noticed that their heads are always glued, which I sometimes don't like. But, I mean, it's okay, though, at the end of the day. But, yeah, I did get these two. And then I have another figure view. Either probably coming later today or tomorrow, depending on um, whenever I get finished with it. And that's going to be more in-depth because that's a figure I've been really meaning to get for a while now. And, yeah. So that's going to be it. I just wanted to show you guys these figures that I got. And yeah. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.